in today's video, we're opening a never before seen Yu-Gi-Oh product. Will it be epic or will it suck? What is up guys? We are back with another epic old school third party Yu-Gi-Oh product opening. Before we hop into it, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this retro pack one reprint Red Eyes Black Dragon that we've pulled on the channel. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications and let me know down below. What do you think about this third party product? We also have a bunch of old school packs from all the way back from 2009 to previously. And we have, of course, the main event. This should be a pretty fun video. And I want to remind you that tonight we are opening, speaking of retro pack one, the new retro pack mini boxes live on whatnot at 5 p.m. Central. This video is sponsored by Whatnot. Whatnot is an auction platform app where you can buy from sellers such as myself and many other creators, influencers, celebrities, and many other sellers as well. I will be live on Whatnot this Thursday selling the new retro pack reprints which have just taken the Yu-Gi-Oh world by storm. There's so much fun. There's so many foils inside. They look amazing because they're the old style cards. They are US only so I know a lot of international people have struggled getting them so we will have some available live on Whatnot for auction. There will also be buy it now available We'll also be giving away some mini boxes of Retro Pack 1 that you can win just by being at the stream. So make sure you go to Whatnot right now. Click the link down below. Get $15 free credit for new users. Then go to my profile, Ruxin34. Bookmark the show. And then make sure you're there for the stream at 5 p.m. Central because we'll be doing all those giveaways, all those sales. It's going to be really amazing. And don't forget to follow me as well because we're almost at 15,000. We might do a special opening for 15,000 when we get there. So make sure you give me a follow. This is going to be super fun. Retro Pack is one of the most exciting reprints they've done in a while. I'm definitely a big fan of it. So I want to see you guys at the stream. Thanks again to Whatnot for sponsoring this video. So if you've not gone over to Whatnot yet, click the link in the description, get $15 free credit anywhere on Whatnot, not just with me. If you like shoes, coins, cards, whatever you like, Whatnot pretty much has it all. And even if you've done that before, make sure you go bookmark the stream for tonight at 5 p.m. Central so you don't forget, because we're going to be selling Retro Pack 1 mini boxes, giving away Retro Pack 1 mini boxes. We're also going to be selling a lot of other stuff and giving away a lot of other stuff as well. So it's going to be super fun. Let's get to today's video. Let's, okay, let, we'll save that thing for, let's not open it up right off the bat. Let's open up a couple of these other packs first. Okay, this thing like casting a shadow, it's so tall. I'm gonna set it over here so it doesn't do that. Let's open these other packs, uh, like Stardust Overdrive and potentially get a Ghost Rare right here, which could be pretty exciting. I mean, we've pulled a Ghost Rare before and it is always exciting. So if we do it again right here, I will be very happy. Recently, there's been a lot of great openings on the channel because we've done a uh, Retro Pack 1, we've done light, uh, light of Destruction, we've done some other old school openings and they've all been really awesome infinity force uh in inherited fortune and earthbound whirlwind starting us off with a super rare here we go let's keep it going ancient prophecy can we pull something amazing one two three from the back we have one flippity flop floppity flip silver wing like lugia we have mistral Hydro Pressure Cannon, Flamvel Counter. Speaking of Lugia, I need to upload on Poker Rocks. I have a video that I need to put together and I just have not. Skill Success or another super rare. We got to get Poker Rocks another video because it is getting close to 8,000 subscribers, which is very exciting. And uh, speaking of subscribers, we're less than 7,000 away from the every pack opening plus more. It is going to be so exciting. I can't believe how fast we're getting there. Like we're getting there much faster than expected. It's going to be amazing. I've got all the packs sitting there just ready to be recorded. At some point, I'm going to have to actually record that like kind of soon, because if we keep uh, keep running through subs like we have been recently, I think we're like six point something away. K thousand, so, you know, still a decent away, maybe like two, three months, something like that. Uh, maybe even less at this current rate. I'm going to need to record that thing because that video is going to be very long. My editor is going to hate me for sure. <laughs> Definitely going to hate me. We have a uh, rekindling, but it's going to be so exciting. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be worth all of the long recording. I'm going to have to make sure I have plenty of space on my recording spot, like my phone. I got to clear some space up so it doesn't stop in the middle of it. That would be scary. Got to make sure we're recording the whole time. I'm like the first time. Yeah, I am thinking about all this stuff. Hopefully I don't forget any of it. It's going to be a crazy, crazy video. I cannot wait. We have Spider Spider. Ritual of Grace. Reptilian Medusa, Attack Pheromones, a pointer of the Red Lotus, a Ritual Buster, Tune Magician, Gemini Scorpion. So far, it's just super rares. Okay, and that's not too crazy right there. I'm saving some. Okay, let's do Legacy of Darkness because we do have three of those. These are unlimited, but they are original print because they didn't do a reprint of Legacy of Darkness. Uh, so this one is pretty cool. Let's see if we can get... We've already gotten a damaged Yada before. Let's see if we could get an Injection Fairy Lily. That'd be pretty cool. I'd take Yada again, though. I would not be mad at all. Uh, Nutrient Z. We have Warrior Die Greffer. 
Dragon Dwelling on the Cave, 1300 2K. The same exact stats as Giant Soldier of, the, of Stone, except he's not a rare. It's kind of strange. He's also a dragon, so. Spirit's Invitation, Feng Shing Mirror. Patrician of Darkness. Skull Knight, number two. We've got the Faint Plan and Lesser Fiend Machamp is back, the Yu-Gi-Oh version. And as long as he remains spaced up on the field, uh, monsters destroyed by battle are removed from play instead of going to the graveyard. Interesting. All right, let's try that Ancient Prophecy pack again. Let's see if we can get something awesome. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying the videos recently. We've had a nice variety of new, old, you know, Master Duel slash uh, Wield Goat, etc done a bunch of different stuff. I think it's been a pretty fun time for the channel, at least for me, like recording and, and doing all the videos have been really, really fun. I don't feel like it's, it hasn't really gotten bland because occasionally you can do the same thing over and over, you know, and then it gets a little old. I know we've done Mejia 15 times, but even that has still felt fun. About all 12 more days, I say that we've done a 15 episode series. Quacky Mirror and Divine Dragon. Speaking of Mejia, I kind of almost forgot that we were even doing Mejia. I was like, I was cleansed of it for a second. And then I remembered, oh wait. <laughs> We still haven't pulled it, have we? Or have we? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Maybe we have. I don't know. Well, at least you guys haven't seen. So, uh, I'll look, this is what I'll say. All the videos you guys have seen, we have not pulled Mejia. Let's just say that. Okay, three from the back. All right, we have Reptilian Viper. We have Infernity Force. Spider Spider. Relinquish Spider. Reptilian Scylla. Spiritual Forest. Wolf in Sheep's Clothing. The Shine Palace. Rare. And the Attack pheromones okay still searching all these old school packs we're looking we're looking we're looking and guess what it's all supers we started off two for two since then we are over let's see if we can turn it around all it takes is one big pack in these old school packs it could be an ulti it could be a ghost it could be crazy it could be lame who knows we have advanced charge we have black wing thane steel chain very nice water hazard arm sea hunter little dueling special divine dragon aqua bazaar Ruxin Special, Spirit Burner. We have the Quaki Miru Tornado. And here we go. Can we break the streak? <sighs> Angel Forest. That technically breaks the streak. It's another super. All these supers in this set. Look at this. Okay, that one's a little bit more obvious. But these two, I mean, there's almost nothing there. That is crazy. They were trying to save some money on the foiling right there. That's what it seems like. Okay, Legacy of Darkness. We do have... We might have... Oh, yeah. We got a, we got a few more packs in the, uh, the third-party opening. I think it's six more packs, so... That should be pretty fun. We also got a chance at the Dark Magician Girl in there. One, two, three, four from the back. Can we pull something crazy? The Illusory Gentleman. Wearing old fashions, this gentleman is very fickle. He sometimes saves people and at other times commits crimes. You never know what he might do. A Legendary Ocean. Robo Yaru. We have Fiend Comedian. Possessed Dark Soul. Super Rejuvenation. Bad Reaction to Samochi. Robo Lady. A warrior fully covered with metal. It upgrades by fusing with Robo Yaru. And Thunder Nyan Nyan. A little Tarzan action. That is about it. Okay. One of each pack left. And then we go on to the third party opening. Here we go. Bless us with a little luck right here. One, two, three from the back. Get a little flippity flop, floppity flip. Ghost rare when we rip. Here we go. We have Insect Neglect. Part of the cards give me a hit. We have Molten Escape. Spider. Level Eater eating those levels. Spider Egg. Gemini Booster. Dajin, release of rituals, and Reptilian Scylla. That is not releasing any rituals, is it? It is releasing nothing. Just the Reptilian Scylla. Ancient Prophecy, please break this streak and give us something amazing. Why is that card upside down? Let me flip that around. That shouldn't matter. It's just a common, I think. Fairy Wind, unless it's an error pack. Let's see. Core Blaster, a little workout action. Spirit Burner. Sword of Shackles, we have Hydro Pressure Cannon, Cyborg Doctor, the Advanced Draw, XX Saber, Fulham Knight, I always forget this is originally a rare, and... Okay, Beast King, Beast Machine King, Barbaros, or that is a super, er, I guess, er, or, I don't know. I don't know, that's not right. That's four super rares. Let's try to turn this around, let's get something above a super rare, right? This could have up to a secret in Spell Ruler. 2010, I believe. Yep, no date, so it should be 2010, I think. I think that doesn't have a date. Okay, th four, and then flippity flop, right, on the these old ones? I think that's what it is. Old reprints. Malevolent Nuzla. We have the Electric Snake. Penguin Knight. Spear Creek. Magical Labyrinth. Fairy's Hand Mirror. Umi Ruka. Hero Shadow Scout. 
and the flash assailant. I once tried to use the flash assailant in uh, in wheel to go. It did not work out so well. All right, this, I'm going to save that for last because we might get an ulti in there. Let's open the, not last, but last of these packs. So open Legacy of Darkness, then we will do Flaming Eternity, and then the main event, which could potentially also have some ulties. Legacy of Darkness, here we go. One, two, three, four. We have the Fiend Comedian. He's laughing. He's funny. Wolf Axe Wielder. Secret of the Bandit. The Hunter with Seven Weapons. Super Rejuvenation. Bad Reaction Mochi. Robo Lady. Serpentine Princess. And Fusion Sword Murasame Blade. All right. Another fail. Flaming Eternity First Edition. Here we go. Can we get an Ultimate Rare? This is a retail pack, but there are still some good ones like Phoenix Wing Wind Blast Ultimate Rare. That would be really, really nice to pull. And I mean, if we got that, we'd pretty much lose it. Release Restraint. The problem is these cards in this set are oftentimes in really, really bad shape because they have all this scuffing on them. Uh, but that's fine. I would take that at ulti if we get it. Ruxin Special. We have the Catnip Kitty. Fulfillment of the Contract. Flame Ruler. Insect Knight of all insect fighters, he is the paragon of the indestructible insect invaders, which only the elite of the elite can adjoin. Can adjoin. <laughs> or join. He can no longer ignore. We can unlo oh, no longer ignore his unmatched battle prowess. I cannot read. Good Goblin Housekeeping. And our final card of the other card. Oh, wait. This is a trap card. Could be Phoenix Wing Windblast. It's not. It's cross counter. Okay. It's not even an ulti. All right. I got my hopes up. Unfortunately, they were dashed. Now for the main events. Let's open up this box. I was going to say booster box. It's definitely not a booster box. Where is my opener? Here we go. All right. The champion. Let's take a look at it real quick. On the back. Okay. This is. I'm going to have to do a little maneuvering here. Champion edition. Contents include three classic Yu Gi Oh packs, one Yu Gi Oh Rise of Destiny special edition. Prepare yourself for the ultimate battle. With the Champion Edition box, leave your opponent in the dust. And then there's a bunch of disclaimers down there. Champion Edition, we have includes Yu-Gi-Oh! Special Edition box and three classic packs, which it tells us on the back and the front, so you're not confused. All right, let's flip this thing over. Let's open it up. This is all it takes. That's it. And I think that you just do that. Yep. And then we open it like this. Like so. All right, okay, one of the packs fell out. All right, we have a special edition, Rise of Destiny, which can potentially have Dark Magician Girl promo. We have Legacy of Darkness. We have Pharaonic Guardian. They didn't give you the best best options here. It was Legacy of Darkness, Pharaonic Guardian, which are still, I mean, old these days. But in terms of back then, you know, kind of the ones, you, well, kind of the ones you want in terms of value. These aren't great, but Pharaonic Guardian is pretty good for like playability. So back then it might have actually been decent, though. I do think around Pharaonic Guardian is when some people's kind of stopped, even though it is kind of a great one of the best old school sets in terms of playability. OK, these have these little stickies on them, so I'm just going to leave them up here so they don't get on the Magia mat because Magia mat's going to be our mat until we pull it. OK, Pharaonic Guardian original unlimited. There's a lot of amazing commons and rares in here. And then, of course, some of the awesome foils like Don Zalug could come out of here as well. So let's see if we can pull them. Uh, four from the back goes right to it. We have the D tribe, a little bit warped. Uh, these things have been in here for probably a very long time. We have Rite of Spirit, Cobra Jar, Metamorphosis, best rare, or er, sorry, common. One of the best commons, used to be the best common. Now it might be the maiden of the Aqua. No, it's probably Trap Dust Shoot, actually. That card's crazy. Uh, it's like 14, 15 bucks or something. And <sighs> Book of Life, and that's a really good super rare for zombie decks and like Goat or Edison. Really incredible card because you get to special summon a zombie from your graveyard and banish a card from their graveyard. The problem is sometimes they don't have a card in their graveyard to be banished, so you can't actually use it. But when you actually get it off, this thing goes insane. You bring back Ryu Koki, you banish a card that they want to use, like a chaos monster or something. It's pretty nuts. So that's a really good pull. Let's try Legacy of Darkness up next. So far, I don't know. If, I don't think Legacy of Darkness has pulled us anything. We've opened three packs already. Let's see about this one. Four from the back. We have Soul Demolition, Convulsion of Nature. Wilden Sprite, Dragon's Gunfire, the Great Long Nose. He has a great long nose. I tried to play this card in uh, one of the really jank wheeled, up, wheeled goat episodes. It was bad. Throw Stone Unit, a Fane Plan, Skull Knight number two, and a Lesser Fiend Rare. All right, Machamp makes another appearance twice in four packs. All right, last for on a Guardian pack. Then we open up the Rise of Destiny Special Edition. Maybe pull to Koichi, maybe get a Dark Magician Girl promo. Could be fun either way or both. Let's just let's just go for both. Four from the back. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this video so far. If you are, make sure to subscribe because 250K, you guys know it's coming up very quickly. Also, go follow me on whatnot and bookmark tonight's stream. 
We're almost at 15K there. And once we get to 15K there, we're going to do a little special thing. It's humidity, not aggression area, charm of Shapti, and wandering mummy. I, I also played this. I played that. Yes, I played a little Ferrana Guardian and it did not go well. All right, let's open this Rise of Destiny special edition. Here we go. Let's open this thing up the civil way. I'm not going to destroy it. I'm not going to hurt your uh, hurt your eyeballs by just ripping it open. I'm going to cut it open like a gentleman. And OK, the I don't know where if the promo cards on the back or not. I'm not sure. OK, so it's like that. All right, let's do this. Let's save the promo card if we can. Okay, let's three packs. Let's save this promo card for the end because it could be a Dark Magician Girl, which in PSA 10 is actually pretty nice. The back of it looks pretty decent from what I can tell. All right, we have three packs. Let's open these up. Let's see if we can get, well, first edition too. I forgot the Rise of Destiny special edition. They have first ed. Hopefully there's like a Dekoichi in here, ulti or something like that. There's some pretty good ones in Rise of Destiny to be pulled in ulti, even in the retail set. Okay, this is sticking. Maybe that means it's an ulti. We'll find out. We have Furika Zan. Really bad scuffing on this set. Like, really, really bad. Moki Moki King. We have Harpy Lady 3. Moki Moki Smackdown. Let's see if we can pull a non-scuff uh, ultimate rare. That'd be pretty sick. We have Among Us the Alchemic Bee. And a Dakoichi ultimate rare! Okay, how about that call? How <laughs> I said, hey, let's pull a Dakoichi ultimate rare. And then we pull it immediately. That is awesome. I think, uh, oh, it looks pretty good. There is a little bit of scuffing. There's a big line right there from the foil, a little bit of scuffing in the back. That is a sick pull. Beautiful goat format card. That'll probably go in my goat box uh, just because it's not gradable, but that's actually a really sweet version to play. Okay. I mean, I guess, I guess we're good on this special edition now. I mean, we kind of got what we came for. I don't, I don't know. Can we get two ultis? Uh, that'd be pretty sick. That is a really sick pull. Pitch Black Warwolf. We have Moki Moki King. Fruits of Kazaki Studies. Tactical Espionage. Nightmare Penguin. Rock from the Valley of Haze. Element Magician. And a two for two. Pikaru's Circle of Enchantment. All right. All right. Let's make it three for three. Rise of Destiny. Come on. Come on. That would be insane. Dekoichi. Pikaru. We have Money Go. One, two, three, four. Here we go. Harby Lady One. Bokoichi. Heavy mech support platform. Okay, let's go three for three. Mighty Guard is back. Nightmare Penguin. We have back to square one. Creeping Doom Manta. Here we go. Final card. Right before we reveal the promo. Maybe Dark Magician Girl. Is a chain burst. Okay, so we didn't go, we didn't go too crazy three for three, but I'll take it. All right, the last reveal will it be a Dark Magician Girl? If you guys have enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you check out Whatnot tonight at 5 p.m. Central. Go get $15 free credit down below. If you guys haven't already, if you're a new user, a lot will be given away and sold tonight. Here we go. Oh, Judgment of Anubis. Not too bad, but I will, I'm happy with that Dekoichi. That was amazing. Shout out to Toe Info Show, Anesto Deanna, America Deutscher, Brandon Chaney, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F. Chengalang, and Aldelsa Garcia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.